everyone. As you can see, or you're about to see, I'm actually drawing this portrait upside down. Um, and I'm most certainly recording my voice afterwards. Uh, I don't think I would have been able to have concentrated enough <laughs> if I'd done it the other way uh, at the same time. Um, why, why would I draw upside down? It's actually really, really good practice to draw upside down. Um, doesn't matter what form of art you're doing really, even, even ordinary art. But um, with psychic art, I believe it helps you to just step away a little bit, um, which gives spirit a little bit more control then. Um, it looks really difficult, and I'm not going to lie to you, it isn't the easiest of things to do. But it is fun. <laughs> I've, I've always um, enjoyed my attempts. Um, I've always worked many different ways with spirit. But when you're actually drawing upside down, you're actually um, educating the right side of your brain a little bit. You know, you're, you're allowing it to come out and play for a little while. You're giving it a little bit of exercise. So... Um, there's lots of pros to actually doing this. Um, I don't see spirit, so I actually did a bit of a um, look around to see if anybody else has actually drawn any portraits upside down on YouTube, and yes, they have. Um, but everyone I saw on there, they actually were using a photo as a reference. Now, I didn't have a photo as a reference. I didn't even have a person as a reference because I don't see spirit people. I just draw and um, spirit inspired me to draw in a certain way. So, um, this has to be, uh, um, <laughs> see I'm struggling to talk and I'm just watching myself draw upside down on the video that I've just recorded. <laughs> um, but it's a really good exercise. It is something that I recommend you do every few months if you can. Um, if you don't want to do it all the time. When I actually first was um, drawing spirit portraits, uh, most of my portraits were actually drawn upside down. And a very dear friend of mine, Danny Wright, um, he's also a medium, he, he wondered if it was anything to do with the fact that when images come into the mind through the eye, they are actually upside down and our mind flips them back round again so that um, we can make sense of what we're seeing. So, you know, I think there could be some truth in that um, because when you think about it, if, you, if you're if uh, watching a movie and, and you've got someone and they're putting the subtitles up, subtitles are never ever exactly the same are they you know to what to what you're actually hearing if you actually speak that language so in a way i feel that maybe perhaps sometimes we can misinterpret some of the um inspira ins inspirational feel of need and draw this way or that way because our mind has changed it slightly, maybe, you know, um, who knows? Uh, I know there is other people, who, spirit artists, that have drawn upside down. I do know that. I um, can't name any, I'm afraid, off the top of my head, but I, I, I do know that people have done that. So, yes, this is great fun. It's an exercise. It's a, if you want to be a psychic artist, you've, you've just got to keep practice, 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 practice. It's like being an athlete. It's like doing any kind of mediumship. Practice, practice, practice is what you need to do. Exercise those muscles. Okay. So even though I'm laughing, you know, I've had fun drawing this portrait and everything, it is actually still a spirit portrait it has been inspired by my guys to draw this portrait they have helped me okay um it would have been quite funny if you'd actually been in the room when i actually turned the portrait round um i actually did a little 
oh, <laughs> when, when, when I saw it. But, and I'll be honest with you, I quite often do that when it's a portrait that's drawn upside down. Um, if you look at a photo and it's upside down, people look different, don't they? They look strange. So uh, you definitely get that the same with, with the spirit portraits. Now, this man, um, lovely character that I'm drawing here. And um, I did actually joke with him. He didn't answer me, unfortunately, but I did actually joke with him. Oh, you know, you're from Australia because, you, you know, I've drawn you upside down. <laughs> So um, I really don't know. I can't remember joking like that before when I've done it. So it could be that there could be Australian links. Um, what I want to say is that um, I was very aware of the heart area. Now, I don't know if it's the actual heart, as in heart attack. But I, all I want to say is I felt like um, a big stabbing pain going in to the central chest area. So I've never had a heart attack, my, heart attack myself, don't want one either, but I think in my mind I've heard someone describing it like that a little bit before. Um, so not quite sure there as to what happened, but I, I do know great sense of humor. I do feel this man was on the large size. Um, you know, he, I'm not talking, you can tell by the picture, you know, he, he's he's not a skinny man. Um, but I do feel his weight maybe used to fluctuate a bit as well. I also feel that he would have liked to have had a can, I'm seeing a can of drink in his hands. Um, I just can't get away from Australia. Australia has to be important here with this portrait. Um... Right, okay. He's saying that he used to um, live uh, more on the outskirts of town, a um, bit countryfied kind of area, but at the time of his passing, he, w he was actually living in quite a, a, a busy town. If you, I can feel the hustle bustle, you know, of lots of people about... Um, so I really hope that some of this information can help you to place him. Um, let's see if he's got anything else to say. Um, he's shown me three. I, I'm aware of a daughter, but I'm seeing th three. So I, I feel that, the, I'm not sure if it's three daughters or there's three all together, but I do know there is a daughter that will connect, okay? Um, this man absolutely loved his mother to pieces. Um, used to do everything for her. Uh, he's telling me he was brought up right. People don't do that now. And I feel that the person who is actually going to say, I recognise this portrait, they have actually got teenagers around them. And... They are not being treated with the respect that this man would have liked to have seen them treating you with. I really hope that um, some of this will make sense. If it does, please do let me know. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel and then you won't miss out on any of the other videos that I'm going to be creating. Bye.